Hello, Bones. O21. We got one and more to cover with this one, so it may be over a minute. Update. We live in a microwave bath and a plastics bath. People are taking advantage of it in ways that I call discreational. Okay? We've got all these people out on student loans. I say they get together and create a blueprint for an economy that is based on a 20-hour work week that pays everyone. And part of that blueprint that pays everyone is housing. Small homes, very well ventilated, and very soundproof. So, like 10 years from now, starting somewhere just about oh, a couple weeks ago, say, so we got a head start, that people are working on small homes that are well ventilated and soundproof, whether they're out in the middle of quote-unquote nowhere, or they're stacked 17 stories high someplace. When you close the door, you've got a well-lit, ventilated, soundproof home that you can afford with one week's pay. It'll require vouchers, it will require some fine-tuning, but it's a basic human need that people can unite on. These homes and a 20-hour work week individuate people. And if you can get people, if you want to unite people, you tell them what they're fighting for will make their lives more their own. Okay, so 20-hour work week. Who's going to respond to this? Who's going to say, okay, go do it? I think we can start doing it with, without direct government assistance, but for government assistance, let's help them out with a plan to bring the House of Representatives home so that if someone represents a portion of farmland in Iowa, they live in that district and they have their own office with all the technology that you are watching right now and they vote in Washington DC up on a big screen where the world can watch and where their constituents can come on their door and say great vote or not so great vote or next time you're fired or maybe Maybe, do you know anybody else like you so we can try to get them elected, etc. The House of Representatives stays home. And if they're to be bribed, then the people with the money can bring their bones over to where the bribe is. And in a certain sense, this will economically unify the world instead of this nightmare where people go to this casting call called Washington, D.C. and disappear. Okay, house stays home. Now, who else needs a home? This is going to be tough. For me, it's radically, radically sane. There are people who are hacking into our computers, our TV stations, ourselves. We're being hacked into. It's time this no longer is. I thought it was God, and then I thought it was the devil, and I just, then I just found out it was a bunch of fill-in-the-blank, glue-sniffing, heroin addict, addicted to violent people. There are so many different groups that can be hacking into all the microwaves and all the gases that are out there. That, and it's happening now. It's like the, the revolution, the technological revolution, has gone from we all got toys to we all got tools that can construct what the next 10, 15, 20 generations are going to be living through. I know I, I, that, that people already don't go to some places because they're the fear of radiation. Well, there's the obvious ones, Fukushima, Chernobyl. The time for individuals unifying over a medium like this, 
but not just the laptop. We got to start watching TV shows at the same time. We got to start going to places, things like big raves like the Electric Daisy Chain in Las Vegas. Football stadiums can be used for county fairs every weekend within counties. So people just get together and say, well, what is up? And then unify with ideas as individuals on this stuff. This laptop that we're looking at, we're through. It's, it's the new PhD. It's the new university. Universities will be great because you're there live in person where you can do stuff like put on a real live play or have a real live rally or go to a real live lecture and play a real live game of lacrosse or a real live game of fill in the blank. They're still good. But the idea that we're supposed to get into debt and go to one of these colleges and then get into debt and get a car and then get into debt and go to the right skyscraper next to the body of water that's being polluted by the by the ancillary industries that we don't need that much because I believe the stuff that we're importing from China are, are is a lot of it is pollution itself there's there's so there's this fantastic nihilism that is being rewarded the it doesn't mean anything and I'll kill to get to the top of the gas heap. It's happening. Now at the same time, since say a hundred years ago it was 1912, things are a lot better. But there's this insane element, and it's I guess to some extent always been true, and some people say, well, you know, there's a way that normally the good guys win. It's like, yeah, right, okay, that would be you if you just, like, you know, if you had a 20-hour work week and you were doing something you actually believed in. You can do something you really believe in, say, like, make sure food is good, but after 70-hour work week, after 70-hour work week, after 70-hour work week, and with the fear that if you don't do the 70-hour work week, there won't, you will lose your job and humanity will suffer because they'll hire three incompetents. What we're looking for are three competent people. And the 70 hour person will get the 70 hours. But we're still looking for more about essentials that are dynamic and fun. Now, this mayhem, this next house I'm talking about, is a house for the bad guy where they can be safe and they can get even more of what they want. That'll be the next bones. I'm going to send this out, but I'm also going to chop it up. Hopefully tonight. It's June 28, 021. Oh, a house for the bad guys. And how will we get them there? It'll be so much of what they want that they'll want to go there. All we'll have to do is ensure safe passage. And my guess is to get some of the leading more famous bad guys to check it out. The entire operation would cost about, say for five of them, it cost about as much as a new NFL team. And um, they'd want everyone to watch them do it. It would be that good a place, a house for the bad guys. Because eventually, it'll be like a karmic intensive care unit that will eventually be the house for everybody in the future. So, five really big ideas and bones all connected will have a skeleton of it probably by the end of this week by next Monday 021 and hoping again that somewhere tonight or early on the morning of the 29th we'll have this particular broadcast edited up into the five hopefully easier pieces <laughs>